Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I'm sure everyone has heard of Photoshop, whether they are actually into photo design or photo editing or not. I'm sure a lot of people have heard of Photo P, but not as popular as Photoshop. Well, of course, both of them have fantastic advantages. They also both have their downfalls. Today, we're going to explore both of these platforms and see in their own categories, which one is a better design tool for you. Whether you're a professional or a beginner, stick close and let's check them out. So some of the obvious things about Adobe is that it does unfortunately come with a bit of a steep price tag if you are wanting to try the software out for longer than seven days. $26.44 is a fair amount if you're only going to be using it from now and then and it's not going to be a full-time usage however they do have really nice features and additional to being able to just edit your photos with basic settings such as color and lighting you actually have a bunch of ai induced tools that can really take your photo editing to the next level such as the generative fill and you can go in right over here and they've got a ton more tools okay and it obviously comes with a price but they have a fair amount of tools so photoshop also have been around for a lot longer and so i think that they just do things in a sort of more professional manner and i think that their quality output would be better if you're working on a project within adobe so another thing that they have is you have the creative cloud and here you can download a bank of fonts they have thousands and thousands of fonts available for you they also have a bunch of other features uh, within the creative cloud so you can have a couple apps and get a good discount if you're using the creative cloud instead of just making the purchase of adobe photoshop on its own you can see over here that it has a generative ai so you can create images with ai you can use the um, image and enhancer to um, make your images stand out more and make them better quality so they've got a fair amount of features that are really really awesome one of the other things is that you can download adobe and use it on your system and you don't need an internet connection so let's jump into Photop. Photop is also awesome, okay? And of course, the main thing is that it is free. If you want to play around and you're in a stage of your um, learning that you want to put lots of time into and you're not actually getting paid for the work that you're doing or you're not actually selling the work that you're creating then Photop is a great option because you'll have lots of time to play around with it and you get to you know really explore all of its features one of the other things is that it is very very um, much the same in terms of a layout to photoshop so you know you'll have pretty much all the same sort of features you can see your toolbar on the left um your additional panel over here on the right of all for all your tools so it looks pretty much the same the downfall or one of the downfalls at least is that because it's a browser-based app i have the need for an internet connection and i also have ads running here which really no one likes ads in your face like this so it's a little bit distracting while i'm trying to work i'd actually like all of this space to be working you know so that is a bit of a downfall for me however they do have fantastic um templates they have a fantastic base of um things that you can use within your projects so if you go here and tap on templates, you can see that there's a bunch of templates, plugins, brushes, gradients, styles. There's tons of stuff. Okay, they even have um, some built-in LUTs, and you can really play around with, you know, what you have to do here. There's a lot of features. I think it's a very feature-rich app. So you can see here, there's a bunch of templates, plugins, brushes, gradients, 
they even have a bank of LUTs. And, you know, here's all of your templates. So depending on what you're doing, they've kind of got it all made up for you. All you need to do is go and customize that. So within itself, it is a fantastic piece of software. Uh, I just, for me personally, I would like to remove the ads. And I also like the fact that I'm able to download an app and use it on my device and, you know, not have to rely on an internet connection. The last thing I want to mention is that Photoshop will not allow you to use their program on your mobile device. Whereas if you jump into Photop on your mobile device, you can do all the same things and have all the same features, which really is nice because I use my mobile and I use my desktop. So it just makes my life a whole lot easier. Let us know in the comment section if you use one of these tools and why you've chosen that specific tool. We'll see you next time. Go and create something. Peace.